Hey guys, everything new under the sun? Well, you may remember me from such YouTube videos as video render error in iMovie. Well, this is a new iMovie render error, and it is, it is the exact error you see on the screen there. Exporting, my movie 2 has failed, video rendering error, minus 50 or dash 50, iMovie error, fill audio buffer, failed. And I tried a number of things to uh, get this to work, and uh, I could not uh, get it to work. So uh, the, the the resolution is, and I searched uh, you know online etc to find out what the resolution was. I thought it might be the same as the uh, the previous frame render error, and uh, sure enough, it is a, a sort of a similar idea. So the first thing you want to do, and I imported this video from a Nikon D90, um, and it does 720p video with standard, I think I, I think it's standard audio, uh, stereo audio. I don't think it matters. But anyways, this one had it, and uh, so if I go ahead and uh, try and export, you'll see the error that popped up on the screen. So the first thing I did was I detached the audio from the video. So if you right-click the video, um, there's a detach audio uh, option right there, and that puts it in its own section. And then what you can do is you can take the audio and just like the frame issue you just punch it down and in this case I have a fair bit of headroom there where where there was basically if you see it down there if, I don't know if I can go up uh, not much um, there's there's kind of dead air there so I'm I, I have some space where I can kind of remove audio frames if you want to refer to it as that and uh, for me that's what it ended up being that uh, resolved it so you can see I just trimmed a bit off the front of it um, another option was to basically take the video attempt to play it in VLC player and wherever the video stops, that's where it had trouble rendering the frame. So VL, uh, VLC player, try uh, playing the video that failed to export. And uh, you may have an indication as to where in the video the particular issue lies. So if I go ahead and, and try and export it now, because I've trimmed some of that audio file down, uh, it should work for me. So I've got my renamed uh, to, I've already uh, uh, exported my proper version of this. But let's go ahead and try this. Going to save this out, uh, replace the existing one which, fa which failed because yes, I went ahead and I trimmed it. And so now we can see it's exporting. So let's see if the piece of the pie in the top right corner starts going white because that means it's actually able to process. So there you go. You can see the pie opening up there about, well, it's saying nine hours, but that's because I'm doing other things, uploading a video four hours, whatever. You can see it's exporting fine now. So that's it. So detach your audio number one, and then go ahead and trim your audio, probably the, the front of it and the very back of it. If it's all one clip, in this case, it's all one. If you have multiple clips, you may have to trim from the back and the front on multiple clips or one of the clips in there somewhere. Um, but uh, hopefully you have dead space at the front or the back of each of the clips, and you can go ahead and trim them. And so, like I say, it's very similar to the frame error, render error uh, video that I did where I did that. So hopefully people won't have to uh, uh, wait too long to uh, hear my solution to this one. I know people were complaining on, on a four-minute video that I took too long to tell them the uh, solution. But anyways, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope that is useful for you. If it is, please feel free to donate to my Litecoin address. I'd be happy to take it. Uh, but uh, thanks to all as well um, that uh, just uh, and hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.